TGIF at Facebook, I thought I would do something just a little bit different um, and have a what's in your nail kit video. I, you know, you can keep my, your, your stuff in any case you choose. This is a, an old kit and caboodle type case that I used to use for my nail polish, but I've outgrown. Um, but it's great for organizing. That's just the point. Find something that works for you. So what kind of stuff do I have in my kit? Um, you may have different things in yours, and that's fine. This is what works for me. This is what I have so far. No, I don't want to see Minecraft right now. Um, these are a must for when you're painting your nails to clean around the nails, clear out the cuticle. Um... For before you paint your nails, to push back your cuticle and then to scrape off any of the, the dead tissue, which is not the cuticle. Um, I think I've posted something about that, but if not, I will do it again. Um, and they're super cheap. Um, this is kind of like a broke girl's nail kit, but hey, you know what? Not all of us have lots to spend on nail stuff. Some of us have children. $1.44 at Walmart, and you get 12 sticks, and that will last you quite a bit. There's a lot you can do with them. Um, I keep Q-tips for wetting acetone to help clean up around my nails. Sometimes Mama goes overboard. Oh, and, oh yeah. <laughs> and I also have part of Discord's wing that I have not repaired yet. Because I'm also a mommy. And a cat owner. Anyway, I have cotton balls. I use those for taking polish off my nails. Just helps to have everything in one place. Um, scissors. For obvious reasons. Uh, I actually have a couple pairs of, of these toenail clippers floating around. Because they just work better. And I don't use them that often anyway. So don't yell at me, Christine. Um, tape. Poor girl, or broke girl hack for doing French manicures, if you want a guide for that, or for putting on your nails, and if you want like a diamond shaped in the middle, or different shapes on your nails, or kind of use like a stencil. Ooh, look at the hollow. All those rainbows. But anyway got distracted but like if you wanted to make a French like this you could put tape um, just as far down your nail as you want your tip to be and then paint and then after you paint immediately remove the tape do not wait for the paint to dry okay ignore my cat ignoring my cat okay what else do I have in here um, this came from a back of, like, was included in packaging, and I just thought it'd be something kind of cool to hang on to for reveal shots. Maybe that won't work, but hey, whatever. Thought it'd be kind of cool. Plus, look at that. Look at the, all the hollow. Isn't that beautiful? You can really see all the rainbows better. That's why I kept it. Totally planned. Okay, we already discussed tape. Broke girl's best friend. Um... Very fancy palette, huh? Well, not really. It's a tea light candle holder that I no longer use. Um, so I can use it to put polish down when I want to paint with a small brush to do more intricate things. And um, the where the tea light would go would be a great place to dump some acetone in. To um, Like when I'm using the Q-tips to clean up around my nails, to be able to dip it in there. It's a lot easier than having to unscrew the bottle all the time. Just make sure you don't have any pets. <sighs> Kenobi. He's so not a gentleman. But anyway, it's not like you come to watch my videos for purely educational purposes. It's also the entertainment of who's going to interrupt. But something glass, something that you're not using, you know, reduce, reuse, recycle. Look at me. This is good for the environment. Okay, what else do you need in your nail kit? Uh, oh, nail polish remover. This is regular 
Um, I usually get pure acetone, and I was must have been in a Benadryl haze and picked this up. It's working okay, though. And it does have acetone in it. It's just not pure acetone. Because they added some vitamin E and some stuff. But it's not working any different, honestly. I can't really tell the difference. But some sort of nail polish remover that your skin's friendly with. Um, makeup applicator wedges. They're not for your face anymore. I mean, you can use them there. But they're not just for your face. They're a very economical way to do various things on your nails, such as properly apply glitter. Oh, hello. 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 Anyway, wow, getting distracted by the shiny. But to properly put glitter on your nail, to put gradients on your nails, which is hidden under the glitter here, um... So yeah, you need these. And they are reusable. Or pin cushions. For those times I tried to use these to do some sort of drag marble and it didn't work. But all you would do is... Well, that's what these things are cut off from. Is I used this. And you m might think, oh man, I gotta throw that away. No, 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 my friends, you do not. You just cut off this tip, and voila, you can use it again. One more, how to save the environment by doing your nails tips from your nail art sisterhood. And for using these for gradients, you don't have to be a square. Oh, no. Oh, you can't tell. Hmm. Oh look, see, I cut it in a triangle. So you can do a triangle gradient. Oh, look, I am being funny and educational this morning, everybody. I expect lots of likes and hearts on this because I am adorable this morning. Okay, moving on. Um, Yeah, my daughter's barrettes and her nail polish and an ink pen... Wow, everything gets put in your things when you're a mom, doesn't it? And this is Discord from My Little Pony. He had a little bit of a problem, and I need to get some nail or glue, super glue, to fix him. So he is currently in intensive care in my nail case. And over here, what should you have? Moving on. Yep, top coats and base coats. This one... You might have seen the video for it that I recently reviewed. This is amazing. It does exactly what it says. Um, with one coat just on my bare nails, it totally transformed the look of my nail. And they are so much harder. I can't, you know, I, I love it. I've never had anything work like this. Honestly, it completely sold out big fan of nail aid as you can see this one was the first one of their line that I tried and fell in love with and it's a three-in-one gel base it's not gel but you can use it as a base coat or as a top coat and if you do if you use it as a top coat it gives the look of gel like shiny, super shiny. It's awesome. When I want my nails to be super shiny, that's the one I go for. And then lately, I've been using this for their for the base coat. All of these can be used as both either nail or top. Wow, let me try that again. Either base or nail. Oh my gosh, take three. As a base or a top coat. But... Just because of how they use, like, this one works great as a base coat. But when I tried it as a top coat, it was not as shiny as I wanted. So, and I have one in here that works okay. This is what I use for right now for a matte polish, matte top coat. I am looking for recommendations for a better one. 
So if you know of a better top coat, a matte top coat, please comment below because I would really like to try other ones. And as we finish the rounds, um, this is a baggie of nail decals I've made that I haven't used yet, but I want to use in the future. And some store-bought ones from a couple of nail experiments that I have not used up. Um, but yeah, that's what's in that bag. And yes, I feel very close to Christine right now. Hollow and nail polish apple nail polish. Nail seriously cat. Eyeshadow applicators. You can do awesome designs with these. Looks like you know, like you're applying like when you do on a wall with a sponge. It's like you can make really cool designs on your nails. You can do gradients, you can use, you know, but yeah. Unlike the makeup sponge, these are one use only. You cannot clean these. Um, I do have one of these in here. There's a part where you can put your cuticle back. And then it has this where you could use it to cut, and I have in the past used it to cut the dead cuticle. Um, if you do, be very, very, very careful because it's really sharp. And honestly, I would recommend using the orange stick and just gently scraping it off. These, however, are good for if you have decals or something around that go over your nail bed and you want to trim them. They work great for that. Um, what else do I have in here? Oh, yes. From our quilted designs. Ah. To do our quilting designs on our nails. These are amazing. And if you clean them, like I showed right here, oops, they're reusable. I like quilted nails. I should do that again soon. But anyways, this has been a tour of what's in my nail kit. Quite a bit of nail aid. Hi. Love you, Nail Aid. As you can tell, they get their own shelf. And this helps me to be organized and to know what I have and what I need. And if any of you see that I'm missing something that I just must have to have in my nail kit and it's not here please comment below and let me know because I want to have a complete kit thank you Kaylee all right thanks for watching see y'all later bye